Yasmin. Well, is your odometer, uh, odometer getting into the six digits? Even if your mileage isn't that high, we are all looking to cut costs and make our current vehicles last. But not everyone knows how. Our five ways to save money week continues with a tip from a top mechanic. And joining us this morning is George Nita with Nita's Auto Repair. Good morning, George. Thanks for Good coming morning. in. So we have a, several items that you're talking about that might help you save money uh, with your car. And let's talk first of all gas. We know gas prices are continuing to go up. So It'll never go down. It probably will <laughs> go down, unfortunately, especially here in Hawaii. We know that. But uh, you're, so you're saying there's several ways you can save money on gas. One mm -hmm. of them is an alternative fuel, ethanol. ethanol. So that's one way of doing yes. that. And that's being sold at several places around the mm -hmm. state, yes. right? So you can look into that as a possibility. Um, and tire pressure, though, that's something important you were telling me. Yeah, tire pressure, if your tire pressure is down uh, five pounds, you lose three miles per gallon. So how can you tell if you need air in your tire? It has the bulge. Oh, if you have the bulge. <laughs> yeah, and we're not talking about your waistline. <laughs> you, you look at the bottom of the tire, there's a bulge. Uh -huh. Tire is underinflated. Oh, okay. Have it checked. But then not only gas, but it does wear out the tire faster. Mm. So if you look at the tire shops, the outer edge of the tires are the ones that go first. It's because they have the bulge. Okay. <laughs> we don't want the bulge. All right. And then uh, you're saying spark plugs is another way to yes. save money. Spark plugs, there's lot, several on the market. We've tested them all. And this particular brand um, is consistent and gives the best mileage. Okay. And so what? How do you know when your spark plugs are going bad? Your mileage drops off. Okay. So when your mileage starts dropping off um, because of the cost of gas, look into it. Okay, all right. And batteries, making sure your battery works. Of course, your car won't run without a good battery, right? right? So what do you want to do? Make sure you have the best, uh, what? Highest cranking highest amp. And amp. this brand has the highest cranking amp. Mm -hmm. The cranking amp is, um, gives more spark, okay? And have your alternator works, le works less. And the starter turns the motor faster, so it works less. So all in all, you say starter, alternator, and gas. Mm, and alternators can be pretty expensive, I know that. Yes. Yeah, okay. So when your battery dies, a lot of people just, re, you know. Jump start it and drive started. to the repair shop. That's the worst thing you can do because when you buy a new alternator, it has a big label on it, mm. do not drive with dead battery. There's a reason for that. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. And maybe something that's not going to exactly save you money, but you're, you're advocating this because you're saying it could save a life. Is that right? Yes. This is what? A gas tank vapor recovery system? Yes. It's a vapor recovery unit. It takes, actually, it's an um, anti-pollution thing. But we'll, what we found by accident is taking the vapors out of the tank also takes out oxygen. And if there's no oxygen, there's no fire. So it's safer for you if you have a collision. And this is something maybe newer models already have installed? Um, it's from 75 on up. Mm. That's why in the uh, earlier uh, news, uh, NBC was trying to um, bring out the thing about the Chevy truck exploding. Right, right. It's because those didn't have that. Okay, okay. Well, great tips, great ideas, and just small ways to save money and be safer on the road as well. Right. Thanks, George, for coming in this morning and sharing those tips with us. <laughs> and, and don't forget, you can see this interview again by heading over to the morning section of our website at kitv.com slash this morning. It's now 6.15. We'll be right back.